Hello, it is Friday, September 22nd, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Friday crossword today, which means maybe a slightly tricky addition and a themeless crossword, our first of two themeless puzzles for the week. It's going up a bit late. Apologies if uh, you've been waiting for this video. Um, if you're as far west as, I guess, say the west coast of the US, you probably won't notice any difference. It'll just have, it'll have already been up. But in any case, this slightly tardy edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Henrik Koskinen, David Innes, Josh Lucas, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They do sustain this channel and keep this series going. Very grateful to them for that, as I am for the efforts of all of the patrons who contribute to the channel. Thanks if you're among that group. If you'd like to consider joining that group, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. And there you'll be able to find the bonus videos available for patrons and the um, uh, let's check the crosses mug for benefactors. And the next boss words fall themeless league uh, is uh, about to start. Um, I think it starts next week. And I realized there's a free practice puzzle. So I might put out the free practice puzzle um, on the public YouTube channel because it doesn't require most of the Boswords. The Boswords theme, uh, themeless league is a paid, uh, it's a paid event. So I don't, I don't like to put them on the public channel, but there is a freely available practice puzzle. So I will, I will put that out uh, here. And, and then if you want to follow the rest of it, that'll be on the Patreon page. Anyway, let's get on to the crossword. Um, this is, as I said, a Friday puzzle. It was constructed by Raphael Musa and Michael Lieberman. Oof. Raphael Musa, I think around half a dozen puzzles. Michael Lieberman, around 20. And um, it was edited, of course, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving, solving and see what these two have in store for us today. Furry animals with black-tipped tails. Black-tipped tails. Um, raccoons? I'm, I'm not sure, unfortunately, off the top of my head, which is definitely being referred to here. Macbeth, for one, a play or a Scot? I mean, Macbeth, the actual character, would be a Scot. It's more specific. I like that more than play. Let's see if, if the T here helps. Admission needs, informally. Admission needs. Tickets? You know, actually, here's something I've not seen in the New York Crossword New York Times crossword for quite a while, but it's, it used to occur occasionally. The spelling of tickets as ticks, T-I-X, which I do think I've, I have noticed in the actual city of New York more than anywhere else. So maybe that's, maybe that's related. In any case, that's plausible to me. I'm going to put in Scott, cross it with ticks. We'll see if this works. Crime made while waving, perhaps. Oh, hi. Seems reasonable. Animal in the uh, Qatar Airways logo. Is it an, is it an ibex? I'm just trying to think of what would end with an X. Probably not an oryx. I, I wouldn't imagine I, ibex. Ibex seems much more likely as a bird. Um, I don't know. Maybe it is an oryx. Actually, I don't know. What are there any other animals that in four letters that end with that? I, I don't know. Okay, I might leave that for now. Throwing ability aim or, or aim or arm actually. But you know what? They they share two out of three of the of the same letters, and I'm fairly certain it'll be one of them. So that's that's good. Here we have systemically indispensable, too big to fail. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Sorry. Put an extra O in there momentarily. Uh, yeah. Uh, banks are sometimes described as being systemically indisp indispensable in the sense of being colloquially too uh, too big to fail. So I think that'll be the answer. Uh, and this will be a plural because this was furry animals. So probably causes of some tan lines. Sun, uh, shine, sun, rays. Uh, causes, plural. Causes of some tan line. Maybe it's the clothing you'd wear that would create the tan line. Uh, I'm not sure. What about this? Subjects of some modern bands informally. Drugs, but... That wouldn't be informal. Not sure. What about this? Prominent feature of Man Ray's painting, Observatory Time, The Lovers. I love Man Ray's name. One of my, one of my all-time favorite names. Um, but I don't, I can't, I can't bring this to mind. So what about this? Dapper Pachyderm. Dapper Pachyderm. <laughs> That's interesting. What, what animal? 
among the pachyderms would be considered dapper, sort of appear to be well-dressed, or is that kind of what they're going for in the way that, you know, penguins are sometimes referred to as wearing tuxedos because of their, their coloration? I'm not sure. Corny junk. Co cobs, corn cobs, you throw them away. It's the sort of waste at the end. Dapper pachyderm. Oh, oh, babar, right. No, okay. It is, okay, because you think pachyderm and you think elephant, but I was thinking, well, elephant doesn't fit here, so not even worth saying. But Babar is a character from the children's book series, Babar the Elephant, and he he was a king, maybe? I can't I can't remember exactly. I can't remember very much about Babar, but yeah, he he was dressed in some way that was that was that was snappy or fancy. Causes of some tan lines, I'm not sure. Honeymoon singer, this must be Lana Del Rey, whose name I certainly at least know. It's mind-altering, LSD, a psychotropic drug. And month when Kwanzaa starts, December is when Kwanzaa starts. Like tough love. Oh, this looks like moronic, which <laughs> doesn't seem <laughs> likely for something about tough love. What about this? Dessert whose main ingredient is grated carrot carrot cake right oh hi oh hi is incorrect right i shouldn't have shouldn't have been hasty about putting that in the grid so what is it actually cry made while waving perhaps i just would have assumed this would have to be high here what would this be maybe not oh taxi you're you're calling for a taxi right so these are stoats furry animal with black tip tails right okay fair enough and this is an oryx after all of that I'll need to look this. I'll need to look up the Qatar Airways logo. I can't. I haven't a clue what it looks like off the top of my head. Oxymoronic tough love. I see because toughness and love on their face appear to be at odds with one another. So it is an oxymoron. It's kind of a, a self contradictory uh, phrase. So cause oh straps right. Okay, so it's not an article of clothing. It is an element of an article of clothing. The straps could cause tan lines. Indeed. Okay. Um, prominent feature of Man Ray's painting, Observatory Time, The Lover's Am. I'm, I'm still actually not sure about this one. What about this? Where business is going downhill fast would be a ski resort. That is literally their business is, is people going downhill fast. Australian tennis great Gulagong. Well, as usual, not the right person to ask about uh, famous sporting personalities. Unresolved could be an open question is an unresolved question. Squat could be not a nothing nil. And 28 fil 2018 film set in Mexico that was nominated for Best Picture, uh, Roma. I really, really enjoyed that film, I have to say. Givers, um, was that Alfonso Cuaron? I hope I'm not misremembering who directed that. Uh, Givers of Priceless Gifts. Um, I am not sure, sorry. Word with going or God. I'm not sure. I can't, I can't think. I can think of things that go with one, but not the other, but I can't think of, I'm sure it'll be obvious in retrospect. To act badly in a way could be to emote, to right? So to, to overact, to do a bad job at playing a role in a dramatic production. You could, you could emote, you could really wear your emotions on your sleeve in a way that's, that's too much and unbelievable. So, oh, good going or good God. There we go. That's, that should have been, should have been obvious right off the bat. Water aerobics aid a pool floater or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what this is. Water aerobics aid pool. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Uh, 1945 conference site, the Yalta conference. That'll that'll be that. And givers of priceless gifts are. Organ donors, right, that's good. Yeah, a, a human organ obviously is something that is in some sense literally priceless. It is not a thing that can be legally anyway bought and sold. Um, that's a clever way to use the word priceless. And it's priceless in the in the idiomatic sense of it being you know, sort of, of, of inestimable value to the person who receives it. All I asked for was that simple thing. Um, you had one job. <laughs> which is a very modern, it's a very sort of of the moment uh, expression, I would say. 
Okay. Uh, Australian tennis great. Eleni, I'm, I'm not sure. I just do not know who this person is, unfortunately. As I would not expect myself to, sadly enough. Subjects of some modern bands informally. False start. Up in the air, aloft. Played pickup, say. Played pickup, say. Made house or something? Something about house? Drove home or something? I don't know. I'm not quite seeing it. Spanish title abbreviation. Senora, maybe? SRA? Star Wars prequel series. Oh, Andor, which is, to be honest, one of the only Star Wars things I've actually thought was genuinely good in many years. I mean, I just I skipped a lot of it, to be honest, but Andor was great. Dishu's name means stuffed in Turkish. Dolma. There we go. Some small dogs, familiarly. Uh, palms, Pomeranians. Hearts, um, cores, the sort of heart of something, the core of an idea. That's reasonable. Pool, oh, pool noodle. That is a flotation device, uh, or, you know, it's either a toy or a flotation device or both at the same time. Uh, Yvonne, maybe? I don't know. Uh, a praise for accuracy or suitability to, I would think, essay ordinarily for this, but I don't think that's, I mean, well, it obviously doesn't fit, but I'm just trying to think what other words would fit here in three letters. Try. I don't think that's that's right. False start. Played pickup, say. Oh, pickup basketball, maybe? Shot hoops. Yeah, that's what it is. A praise for accuracy or suitability. To vet. Yeah, okay, it is Yvonne. This was Yvonne. All right, but spelled in a, in a manner with which I'm less familiar. I would usually think of Yvonne as being spelled with a Y here, um, but not in this case. This looks like pseudo. Yes, false start. So pseudoscience sort of means you know false science, essentially. Object pantomimed by extending one's thumb and pinky. Um, a phone. You could sort of make a little uh, ersatz representation of a phone by doing that. Uh, por favor in... Spanish for please, and contest featuring Apollo. The space race, right. Okay, so a sort of metaphorical contest rather than, say, the Olympics or something, which you might, was certainly what came to mind for me initially because Apollo you associate with Greek uh, mythology and then therefore the Olympics and so on. Okay, I'm done complaining. Okay, I'm done complaining. End of rant. There we go. Country described in one can't impose unity out of the blue on a country that has 265 different kinds of cheese. Sounds like France. That's great. I wonder I wonder uh, who to whom that's attributed. I'm curious. That's a, that's a funny quip. Organization whose logo is a red elephant. Oh, the RNC, the Republican National Committee, I guess it is, in the U.S. Um, so two, two logo, two animal logos in this in this crossword because we had the red elephant here and uh, an oryx of unspecified hue. Um, we call those uh, O-U-Hs in the crossword world. Beer whose ads once featured a sinister penguin. I have no clue about that. <laughs> a sinister penguin, I don't, I don't know. That's funny. Urgent hyperbolically. I don't know. It'll be it'll be obviously a phrase, but I'm I'm not sure. Oh, life or life or death, of course. That's all right. It's an incredibly common way to hyperbolically suggest something is urgent. So you know, an exaggerated claim most of the time, but I suppose not always. Flare could be elan. So you do something with gusto, with elan, with eclat, with flare. Subjects of some modern bands informally. E-cigarettes, right, okay, so subject to, to various sorts of regulation. Hypothesized type of nuclear reaction, um, cold fusion, right, you do hear a lot about the, the search for that uh, sort of thing. Kind of diet, oh, the paleo diet is something that has cropped up, in, at least as far as I'm aware, and relatively recently historically, but who knows. Caricature, I, mean, I guess people would argue that it's actually the oldest diet of all, although I think that is somewhat disputed. Um, caricature is to ape someone, could be to caricature them. Sky courier maker, 
don't recognize that at all. It's clearly a brand name, but I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's some sort of private aircraft or a drone or something. Not sure. Bare necessities? Question mark. Dens. Bears, bears need a den in which to hibernate. Okay. It is a necessity for them. Club collection. Dice. Uh, doesn't make any sense. Don't know why that would be the case. Upcycle, say, to reuse something. Um, uh, and then CPR experts are EMTs, emergency medical technicians. Undoubtedly, looks like simply yes. I hope that's straightforwardly that. And Gatsby's first name, so from the Fitzgerald novel, The Great Gatsby, this is the character, the sort of enigmatic, wealthy J. Gatsby. Irish novelist celebrated on Bloomsday, June 16th, is James Joyce, um, famously the author of uh, Ulysses and Dubliners and so on. Club collection, and, and, and Bloom, of course, being his famous protagonist. Club co collection, uh, ones you pay your dues, maybe, to, to be a member of a club. If one plays it cool, one acts normal. Oops, there we go. Oh, great. Cessna. It is a private jet. Okay. I've never heard of Sky Courier, but it must be, I mean, I've heard of Cessna, which is a company that makes uh, private jets. Maybe they make other aircraft. I'm not sure. But uh, Sky Courier must be a line of that. Playing hooky, perhaps, is absent from school, most likely. And medical theaters, for short, would be an operating theater, in this case, an OR, an operating room. And eponymous town in southeast Connecticut. Uh, eponymous. So I wonder what what is its namesake? Lime. I don't. What would that be eponymous for? I'm not sure what this what what that is. Expression of confidence could be I can. Straightforwardly confident. Shoulder muscle informally dealt deltoid and tub top is a lid. I guess on for instance a, I don't know a tub of ice cream or something. This is lime. Okay. I don't know for what other object or person or institution, Lyme is eponymous, but this seems like it must be the answer. Okay. Beer whose ads once featured a sinister penguin. Bud Ice? Is that the name of a beer? Is that a sort of Budweiser cold beer? No clue. Count in jazz. Okay. Well, it must be because Count Basie is a famous jazz musician. So there we go. From his jazz pianist. And then stand up during a presentation uh, could be an easel. You literally have a stand that is uh, they're holding your presentation materials. Largest in a septet, so of the seven continents, Asia would be the largest, so I think that's the septet in question. A laugh and a half would be a riot. It's just a very funny situation. And finally, Lady uh, Pen, founder of Cambodia's um, capital, which, uh, being honest, I, d I don't really know anything about this person, but um, clearly a namesake of uh, uh, Phnom Penh. So here we have tombstone name, and that's Earp, so that must refer to Wyatt Earp. And that was Tombstone, what, a town, I think? A, a sort of, you know, Old West settlement. Um, let's look at this and see if it, if it does work. All right, there we go. That was the Friday crossword. I don't think that was too too challenging for a Friday crossword. There were certainly moments that uh, this, this bit up here, actually, at the beginning uh, gave me some trouble, and then I completely miss, uh, misinterpreted "cry made while waving." Perhaps as maybe we were, maybe was intended. I do associate Friday crosswords maybe more than any other day with misdirection. I think of Saturday as being the most difficult day, certainly, but the brand of difficult on difficulty on Friday often leans heavily on punnery and misdirection, um, and that was maybe fairly light example of that. Uh, anyway. Other than that, I think we mainly moved through the grid fairly well with just little hitches here and there where I had to skip over things. And um, not too challenging for a Friday, probably, which is a good counterbalance to maybe a slightly dif more difficult than normal Monday and Tuesday, maybe, arguably, but um, feel free to argue. <laughs> and uh, you, can, you can let me know in the comments if you, if you agree or not. I'm always curious to know. I have gotten, I think, a slightly better sense of what, of of when the crosswords are are 
more difficult, less difficult than I did when I started doing this series, when I just never really thought about it, didn't even know that there was, <laughs> when I started doing this series, I don't even think I knew there was a, um, uh, I think I maybe knew that there was a, a broad difficulty curve over the week, but I, I was extremely not conscious of it in any kind of active sense. Anyway, there we go. That was the Friday Crossword by Raphael Musa and Michael Lieberman. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, because I'm actually recording this later in the day, so I, um, I'm i going to wrap this video up now. Hopefully tomorrow, I should should tomorrow have time to do clues from the previous day's puzzle, if, if any appear on this. So hopefully that works out. Anyway, until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm -hmm.